Good morning, guys. So I have my screen open, so I'm going to show you a couple of things here. But first, what I wanted to tell you is I'm fasting today. If you'd like to join me, it is Esther's fast on our calendar. I don't know if you can see that, guys. It's Esther's fast. We fasted on December 9th also um, as a practice run for this one. And I'm going to be praying for truth and revelation to come through, guys. We're going to see clearly in the next 40 days or so, okay? Um, okay, so first I want to show you what is on. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, you guys, but I just want to show you what came up. Okay, if I can find it right here, guys. The devil comet turns green. Okay, so that's an indication of our wormwood, which is a good sign. Devil comet turns green as it approaches the sun. Then I saw this also, bitter waters, guys, acid into the sea. Okay, what I want to talk to you about is the blood pudding. Guys, I want you to know that I believe we've already gone through these processes. So I spoke to you yesterday about the swallowing down and all of that. You guys, we've already been through that spiritually. We've taken the poison. We've learned how to cleanse that out of our system. So whatever is coming for us now is going to be the opposite. It's going to be the opposite. It's no longer the poison because we understand what the process of the poison did to us. It embittered us, it brought us into death, and it brought us into suffering, whippings, daily sacrifice, and all of that. We learned that that was the poison. Now we're going to receive whatever's coming as the cure. This is the sweetness. This is the land of milk and honey that's coming to us. I completely believe that we've already been through these processes, you guys, and we really are looking back, which is so very interesting considering this time warp that we are entering into right now, okay? So we must keep that in mind. We, it's like we already went back in time and kept leaving ourselves clues, you guys, so that we would wake up and remember before any devastating event could occur. We are changing that right now. We are changing what happened at the forbidden fruit. You guys, there was a time when Adam took the forbidden fruit and we're calling it nuclear power. We've called it many things. It has many symbols that represent the forbidden fruit. But one of them is the knowledge of the gods. The gods are stars and stars are filled with nuclear power, okay? So at one point, Adam takes of the nuclear power and that event reverberated all the way back through the time-space continuum cursing Adam all the way back to the garden, you guys. We are, we have gone back and we have started to tell ourselves, remind ourselves, and leave clues for ourselves on the path. They're the pillars and the stones that we left in the desert, guys, so that we would begin to remember what we did to ourselves. And what we are doing right now, you guys, we are softening the blow, okay? So we have been absorbing nuclear energy from our star, and we've been learning that radiation is becoming our cure. We've been learning how to transmute it. And it's like we are taking on the nuclear power so that when it happened, in the future, we are able to absorb it. it. This becomes our superpower, you guys. This becomes our Superman, Iron Man, all of our supernatural abilities and all of that. 
and it softens the blow for the rest of the population. This is a covering, a diamond shield comes out of us and protects the rest of the world, thereby softening the blow. So what we see coming now, you guys, is a fiery dart, okay? It's a fiery dart. And that that is the view that the world is going to have, okay? On some level, on one of our three planes of existence, guys, the world is going to see the fiery dart, I believe. And I believe that could be a striking of the clock tower in the Big Apple, which is an indication that we have bypassed complete and utter destruction and we have softened the blow, okay? I was out on my trail to prove a point, you guys. Um, I was out on the walking trail and here we go again. Mercury has dropped a gift at my feet, okay? Just to confirm our path. There was a business card on the path. It's three towers, you guys. Look at the red and blue. And the name of the group is the final point. The fiery dart, the final point, you guys, the final point. Okay, so you guys, we are sitting at this big banquet and dinner is about to be served and we're eating blood pudding. It is Sanjeri, it is the blood of Christ and the bread of Christ, okay? Blood pudding is what it's called. And in order to have the sugar and spice and everything nice that you need, to spice the blood pudding so that it's not spit out of the mouth, you guys, so that it's not poison to you. It's cloves. One of the main ingredients in blood pudding is cloves, okay? So cloves, um, the Myrtle family. Guys, Myrtle is Esther, okay? See the Myrtle family right here, guys? I don't know if you can see my cursor. Um, this is Myrtle is Hadassah, okay? Which is Esther, which is Easter is upon us, okay? Okay, the root word is the word nail. Look at this. Let's see if I can get my cursor over there. Nail, the root word of the word clove is nail, okay guys? Nail is the fiery dart. It's the rod of iron, you guys. But to us, what is the rod of iron? It is a nice, attractive iron man, attractive magnet, ferromagnetic in your spine. All of your chakras, are firing in the right direction now, you guys. The pole is switching, right? And we are able to attract. This is why we are going to rejoice when we see the plummet in the hand of Zerubbabel. The plummet is the hammer of Thor. Hammer and nail. We are going to rejoice, you guys, because this iron rod which is the fiery dart also you guys it's a tuning fork okay galactic mother told us about a tuning fork that is coming guys i talked to you about the tent door yesterday for the azazel okay the yom kippur in one of the traditions, the Yom Kippur gets a red ribbon and the door of the tabernacle gets a red ribbon, guys. This is a tent door, okay? In the other tradition, the red ribbon is tied on the foot of a bird. Foot of a bird. Same picture. Same picture. This is the dove bringing peace. This is 
your tuning fork, the day of atonement. Okay. Look at how it ties in here, you guys. Okay. Now, this is the plummet of Zerubbabel with the nail. It's the hammer and nail. It's Thor. Thor's hammer and Thor controls the weather. Okay. Watch this, guys. Time traveler. Oh, okay. That's not what I'm looking at. Okay. The other root of the word clove, you guys, is cleave. You guys aren't going to believe this. Cleave. Cleave. Okay. Cleave, you guys, is to cling to a thing closely. Okay. But the other, look at the other definition, to split as if a cutting blow. It's one of those words that mean the exact opposite of themselves. Cleave is to cling tightly to, adhere to, to be glued to, you guys. One of the definitions was to be faithful to, okay? The other one is a great divide and a great splitting. That great divide and great splitting has some benefits for us too. But this shows up on my calendar, you guys, as fusion at the 322 and fission at the 323 dates, okay? Fusion is cleaving, fission is cleaving. Okay, there's a great divide coming between the dimensions. We know this, you guys, in the time-space continuum. Here it is, the great divide, okay? It doesn't matter, you guys, we've woven a new bridge for ourselves over this divide. We know that we are able to travel through the dimensions, okay? It, it, this, it just... <sighs> Your, this is your time of glory. I just can't tell you enough how much this is going to be your time of glory. So, um, the next word, because what cleave also means, and it's, guys, I have this dictionary up, Merriam-Webster, which I never use, because the other one has so many ads, you can't even see. <laughs> The other root word of the word cleave, you guys, is the word peel. Peel. You must trust me here. Okay? To strip off an outer layer, to remove by stripping, to come off in sheets or scales. You guys, scales is your serpent skin. Scales is musical tones. Okay? To take off one's clothes, to break away from a group or formation, the skin or rind of a fruit, a thin layer of organic material that's embedded in a film of colloidian and stripped from the surface of an object, a chemical peel. Okay, what this said in the other one, you guys, was if a nail had rust on it, that you could put it in this chemical solution, you guys, which we've been talking about, our chemistry is changing and the rust is going to come off. The outer crust of a rusty nail is going to come off. You guys think of tetanus because isn't that a video game? Am I thinking correctly here? W what you can get from a rusty nail, tetanus, it's the, isn't it the video game that does the serpent thing? <laughs> I don't know what I'm seeing here, you guys, but your skin is going to come off, guys, okay, right? This is, this is the ghost coming off. This is the shell coming off. We've seen all of this in this time period, okay? So this is occurring no matter what we see with our physical eyes, okay? What's the rust coming off of you, you guys? It's the red skin. It's the red hunter. It's 
Esau. It's rustic, literally means to be dumb. Rustic, a, a blundering, oaf, kind of foolish, rustic person. It's Orion the hunter, the first man, Adam. This is peeling your skin. Your first man, Adam, comes off. It's the foreskin being removed. It's your circumcision. It's all of that stuff. Okay, you guys, peel is also the word peel, which is, of course, the bell is ringing. The bell is ringing. It is also a peal of thunder. A peal of thunder, you guys. Thunder, again, is Thor, okay? The plummet in the hand, the hammer, the hammer of Thor. We have talked about, I'm getting chills because I'm just so excited about this, and I have 30 minutes to get this to you, okay? Guys, remember when we were told that we would begin to control the weather, that we would be influencing the wind? It's, it's our spirit. It's our power to wield to pin that down the wind, you guys, to wield the spirit correctly, okay? To bristle the hair. Remember, bristle means storm and storm means barley, okay? We are going to be able to blow with our mouth, you guys, and the words that we speak are going to influence the hairs, which is the antenna of others and other living creatures, the primordial soup, the, the whole ecosystem is going to begin to change. This is the redemption of glorious, beautiful Mother Earth, okay? Okay, so I woke up this morning, you guys, with the words butterfly effect. I am so excited. Butterfly effect. Why? Why, why, why? Butterfly effect. I'm going to tell you what it is, guys. Okay. It is Vitruvian man. Look at him, you guys. He starts to flap his wings. He starts to flap his wings. Guys, we already have the understanding of Vitruvian man. He is our butterfly. He is the evolved man. He is glass man, which means he is crystalline man. Our crystalline DNA is being activated. It's our star seed. It's our white thread on Yom Kippur, where the red thread turns white, the plasma of the stars. Okay, guys? What we are doing is circling the square. Circling the square. Look at Vitruvian Man, how Da Vinci drew him, you guys. There's a square and a circle. Okay? We are circling the square. Guys, we are softening the blow. Softening the blow. No more sharp angles. We are rounding, blunting what would have been destruction. We are blunting it. I, this is what I'm seeing. We are blunting it, okay? We are being able to intercede and intercept this energy of negativity, you guys, and we are already transmuting it. And it's in this season that we are going to see the effects of it. Okay, butterfly effect. Guys, look at this. Look at this. Okay. In chaos theory, you guys, I'm going to tell you what chaos theory is. It's the tornado, and that's further down, the weather model tornado. Can you guys see? I don't know if you can see my cursor or not. Let's let's read through this, okay? In chaos theory, the butterfly effect is the sensitive dependence on initial conditions in which a small change in one state of a deterministic, non-linear system can result in large differences in a later state. What this is saying to me is that we know that time and our existence is not linear, guys. We understand that time is only linear when you're under Kronos, okay? 
the this means that what we are doing spiritually is changing everything underneath the scenes in the non-linear system we are already making dramatic changes to that event that was to be the one way highway to hell we are changing that already you guys the term is closely associated with the work of mathematician and meteorologist lawrence He noted that the butterfly effect is derived from the metaphorical example of the details of a tornado. Under our bridge, I'm going to draw it in more clearly because you can hardly see it, you guys. We have our tornado, but look at what I saw in it yesterday, and I didn't even realize that this was in here, you guys. I'm gonna draw it in so you can see it more clearly with a silver pen and then a yellow highlighter. Okay, this is how I originally drew it, but now hopefully you can see it better, okay? This is the whirlwind, guys. It's a tear in the sky. It's a tear in the sky. A tear in the sky, you guys. Which is also a tear, a tear in the sky. A tear and a tear in the sky, okay? Okay. Um, Where else do we have the tornado? You guys are not gonna believe it. Okay, where are you? I marked it for us, I think. (laughs) I thought I did, here we go. Yes. You guys, this was a spiral arm. Um, This is a tornado, here's the butterfly. Tornado, butterfly, tornado, butterfly, tornado. I couldn't believe it. Not only that, not only that. Look underneath the butterfly, you guys. Do you see where it says a plot of Lawrence's strange attractor? Attractor, this is your magnet, you guys, and what you've been attracting to yourself. For values of rho equals 28, Alpha equals 10, beta equals eight, three. You guys, it's our eight, three. Beta equals eight, three. It's our eight, three, the butterfly effect. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, and look at what I have literally (laughs) written in the corner. Can you see it? 1028. Row 28, alpha 10, and beta 8, 3. Do you know what this is saying to me right now? That everything that we have done, 1028, I came back and made a video for you guys about 1028, about the olive oil anointing that it's a a go, it's a big green light, you guys. Everything you have done to this point, calling attention to light and holding on to your dreams is having a butterfly effect. It is changing the weather. Guys, 
411 is that number of the tornado and the butterfly. 411. Okay. Look at the butterfly. Okay. Inverse and upside down, the way the human eye sees, inverse and upside down. We are changing the weather. We are literally changing the weather. And for you, it is sunny skies, rainbows, and butterflies. This is what is coming. This is what is coming, okay? This is what this whole season is about. It's it's a time loop. It's the time warp. It's changing everything for you guys. Okay, so the tornado. Okay, see where I am, guys? Tornado, okay? He noted that the butterfly effect is derived from the metaphor exa metaphorical example of the details of a tornado, the exact time of formation, the exact path, path taken, being influenced by minor perturbations such as a distant butterfly flapping its wings several weeks earlier. Guys, we had a word from Galactic Mother, and she said, can a tornado go through a junkyard and assemble a 747? which is the number 711. Can a tornado go through a junkyard and assemble a 747 randomly? Yes, it can. Yes, it can, you guys. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit right now. As we are in this Void season. Guys, this zero point season, look, the equinox, we've got Easter in here, we've got the middle between the mirrors, okay? What we were supposed to be doing, you guys, is hold on tight to your dreams. Hold on tight to your dreams. We had, with that teaching, we had the idea that Venus, which is our five-pointed star, she's the mother, okay? She was going around and tying charms to everything in the junkyard, okay? Tying charms, meaning uh, tying a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree. She was tying ribbons around everything, you guys, that was to be saved, that was to be pulled through. All of these strings, you guys, all of these ribbons, all of these strings that we have been weaving in the wilderness, we've been tying ribbons around them as an amulet. You guys, amulet means pillar. It's a talaman. It's a pillar. Our, our trees, you guys, we've been tying. Oh my God. Ribbons around trees. Men are trees. You guys, you are saving your family. Every blessing that is coming to you is coming to your family. It's your lineage. It's your entire tree. It's your entire family tree. It's your entire lineage. You are reversing the curse back to the beginning of time. I, I don't know how else to put this. I, that's the symbolism I get. I don't know exactly what it means, but it is so beautiful. You are saving your entire family tree, you guys. This is it, this is going to cut me off, okay? So what I want to say, let me just stop it, guys. Okay, guys. 
there there is so much beauty in in what I am seeing. It it's the redemption of everything. It it's your dreams coming true. It's the redemption of everything. It's you have influenced the weather, meaning the the natural environment of the earth is where all of our fairies and all of our sprites live guys the fairies and the sprites are your consciousness uh, the, it's the primordial soup it's the ethers that surround you and what you have been doing is directing the fairies to attract to you to bring to you that which you have held in your film strip your your film strip is the images of heaven that you have in your mind and what does heaven look like to you and the fairies are going out and gathering all of this uh, you are uh, it's going to attract all of this to you 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 guys i almost see this as a past tense that this entire time that we've been talking about these things we've been doing it and now is the fulfillment of that time and all of these things are beginning to come to pass, okay? This season is a glorious season. We are emerging from the cocoon. It's our 411, which is in this time period, you guys. Okay, this is a tear in the sky it's heaven coming through for you it's your redeemer it's your redemption it's the redemption of all things my goodness let it be so okay um there is a a, a point you guys of convergence here and it's right in the center which it makes me feel like any one of these dates can close in on itself and and have a wonderful effect for you okay this is your again it's your oil of joy it's the christmas affect where it's peace you guys it's peace so that that it's the olive branch you guys your one of your biggest gifts is the peace that you are going to experience no matter what is going on out there. Um, I, I do want to bring you another picture because it has to do with this. And I'm, it's the Twitter of the bird, which is now called X, which is so Guys, this is one side of the mirror, and, and this is the other. Basilisk means royalty. Um, wed means wedding. Um, water is your precipitation, precipitant, um, changing water into wine, guys. Okay. It's, and then here you've got stuff that you don't even want to pay att attention to. I, I just don't want you to even be influenced what's going on outside of your own inner chamber, okay? You are supposed to be in the void, guys, which is the time that we're in also, okay? You are supposed to be holding tight to your dreams, reviewing your film strip, and tying charms to that which you believe in, okay? You are making magic for yourself. You are changing the weather for yourself. It, this storm, this darkness that is upon us, this tornado, this, it is, you're literally going to assemble a 747 out of the chaos because of the butterfly effect. And this is, of course, Vitruvian, Vitruvian man we are circling the square what would have been sharp 
angles coming down, you guys, 90 degree angles, we are rewriting. The idea of the nail is that it's an inscription. Um, it's an engraving. It is writing. This nail is, I'm seeing a feather dipped in ink, um, which means to me it's your mark, it's your seal. You have made a mark, you guys. This is your seal. This is your logos. This is your brand. This is what you are all about. It's love. It's beauty. It's compassion. It's joy. It's charity. It's love. You are changing the path of the tornado, guys. Okay? Okay, guys. Our SOS goes out today. Roger, that is tomorrow, 322. Uh, message received, guys. Meaning the next step is the gods come. Right? You're making an SOS call. The gods are hearing your call. And the gods come. Okay? Okay, guys. That's it. Um, I'll see you tomorrow, maybe. Or the next day. Okay? <laughs>